Let me talk about Greg Egan, one of the greatest science fiction writers in no time. Everybody says so, at least in Japan. I wonder also around you. Uh, look, here you can see Egan's books, Japanese editions. Oceanic, Reason to be Cheerful, Distress, Diaspora, Singleton, Tap, The Plant Type, Incadescence, and Permutation City I love the best. Anyway, in this video series, I'm especially covering his novels about the theme of artificial intelligence or intruders. Intruders in this context means human beings will migrate into the computed virtual world in the future. Look, this is a list of Egan's main novels about the intruders. They can be classified into three categories depending on the way to implement each of the artificial intelligence. Let me list them in his chronological order. The first one is Jewel Head Seas. It includes Learning to Be Me 1990, Closer 1992, and Bodegard 1999. Jewel is a brain implant emulating its behavior. It succeeds the position of his or her vital brain at some point, and the owner gets the immortal life in exchange for drinking their own vital brain. They are almost horror stories. The second one is Copy Series. It includes Transition Dream 1992, Permutation City 1994, and Kidnapping 1995. Copy is a simulation program of individuality generated from high-resolution brain scan. It is executed on a supercomputer and acts exactly like the scanned person. They are just social science fiction covering several matters upon immortality. The last one is Police Cities. It includes Diaspora 1997, The Plank Type 1998, and Amalgam series just like Incadescence 2008. Polis is a microscopic supercomputing infrastructure, but a lot of digital citizens, including a central character, are living there. It is sometimes hidden deep underground or floating in the cosmic space. They are distinctly what we call hard science fiction. As we saw in this list, Egan seems to take on different settings depending on what he wants to talk in each of his history. Meanwhile, these stories based on different settings seem to have something in common. I'd like to show that by a chart. Let me explain the chart. The outermost box is mathematics. Mathematics always underlies every Egan story, I think. The next in the box is physics. He seems to like touching TOE or theory of everything, especially his distress exactly runs on it. The next box is the universe. It can be called the world more easily. You can see two blue boxes in it. The one is human being. The other is artificial intelligence appearing based on the computing infrastructure. Imagered, a blue box means something that can be a personage in a story. Egan basically distinguish between natural human being and artificial intelligence. Any inside box is restricted by the outer one. For example, the possibility of the artificial intelligence 
is within the range of the possibility of its computing infrastructure. Also, the infrastructure operates within the physical rules of the universe. I'm sure Egan's storytelling always strictly obeys this doctrine. In other words, his characters nor any events in his stories never deviate from physics and mathematics. No superhero, heroine, nor miracle exists in his world. Arthur Clarke said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Yes, indeed. Egan's brilliant gadgets seem to be indistinguishable from magic. But, in fact, they are exactly under the rule of this hierarchic structure. Of course, it's not to say that such method is monopolized by Egan. However, I'm sure his thoroughness to the method is unbeatable by any other writers. Anyhow, in this video series, I would like to decipher Egan's story with using the charts just like sample one. I'm sure we can learn a lot of important things about not only the future, but also current our matters from his thoroughness of logical thinking. Especially, diaspora and permutation city will be picked up. We can learn several curious topics about transhumanity, identity problems, and so on from them. It will be a great pleasure of mine if you also enjoy my challenge with me. Uh, next is why Diaspora Chapter 1 is so complicated. See you next time.